my tongue for all this time won't let anyone cut me short I was thinking this was the way to go And you put up your puppet show I say cheers to life No, I'll be no good band Just leave me alone I'm running the show I'm telling you it's my time to rise And live the life I'm proud of You better go home I'm running the show Forgot all about what I did last night What I do Remember that it was real, real nice Talks about me are never good I don't live like the way that I should Oh well I'm in for some fun tonight Just leave me alone I'm running the show Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, we got an exciting lineup for you today. A little bit more casual. We're gonna kind of kick back. We're decompressing a little bit um, from these seven days. What an amazing experience it was for everyone around the world. I think the trainers just did an unbelievable job. 
Um, congratulations to all of them for doing that. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go to each of the trainers and have them give you their big takeaway from the last seven days and then have each of them give you an assignment. So all the trainers, I want you to think about one assignment for each of you to offer to all the people watching from around the world, okay? Big takeaway and assignment. <clears throat> so I wanna start with um, Damien and Stefania. <clears throat> They're connecting from Dubai. Hey Eric, how you doing? Hi, hi everyone. Hi, good to see you, good to see you. So uh, each of you individually might be different takeaways for each of you. So have each of you uh, share your takeaway from the last seven days and what, what would be your assignment, your wish for the people um, at home to go out there and become a recruiting machine. Awesome. Well, first of all, I think what is really one big takeaway that I could that I could tell is like so many different people from so many different backgrounds with so many different um, uh, obviously companies and, and approaches and everything all go out there and make it happen. And that really shows me that if you're dedicated and if you want to make it happen, you can also. Um, what I think is something that is really, really important is to see how uh, how things become a focus if you just decide to make yes. it a focus. I, like, I just if, my if, part. like if you look at those, <laughs> yes. if you look it's, at those, it's all about a decision. Okay. Sorry. So if you look at those seven days, just now what you did, uh, you, you, it was born out of an idea somewhere in the network marketing pro mind. Hey, let's do this recruiting challenge, and you turned the whole network marketing world up, upside down. And it became, because of an idea of you, it became a focus for every single person that was following and, and, and the ripple spread and all of that. And this really taught me something that, um, that, that opportunity can be created, moments of opportunity, windows of opportunity, they can be created on demand. And that's a very powerful takeaway for leaders. And my um, advice or my, um, you know, uh, I forgot the word, uh, and, uh, uh, task. No, what is it called? With A, <laughs> the word with A. My God, I'm not a native English speaker. <laughs> assignment. Uh, anyway. assignment. 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 That's yeah, the word. For us, that's a difficult word. So, anyway, so it. here's my assignment. Don't stop here. Like, don't stop here. Keep it going. Keep the energy going. Keep the activity going. And I bet there's people out there that maybe in the first three, four days, they were just curious. They were just watching and they kind of just got really started. And now it's somehow already over. But baby, it ain't over. It's just the warm up for the big virtual GoPro. And my advice, my assignment is just to keep it going, keep it going, keep recruiting, uh, bring in the class of 2021 right now and make it really, really big. Yeah, for me, it's, you know, Eric, I'm all about energy. Uh, you know, so for me, where, where focus goes, energy flows. So for me, it's all about now not losing the pace, go out there. You know, if you plan to recruit 20 people right now, then you're only recruited five, keep on going and going and going. I, I, I was sharing today with my leaders. We were having a great meeting at the pool here in Dubai. That's what I love about network marketing. And I said, you know, I was already on top of the company plan and, and, and I could have just stepped away and stopped recruiting and just manage my team and then that guy who today by the way is you know my top top leader wouldn't be in my team today but because i kept on going and i kept on recruiting I didn't, I didn't lose my check and this is very important because people think to just turn the management mode because you make a lot of money and stop working no we need to keep on putting new people and and i believe blessing and helping more people and my assignment for today is you know i was talking about how i started to interview some of my leaders and through that we really uh, recruited a new a new class of, uh, of leaders. If you don't have a team, uh, you know, ask your interview, your upline. It's all about the stories. It's all about the relationship. But if you have a team, look for your top leaders, give them something to do. You know, if you ever, the first one that recruits five people, I will interview and edify you if you do have a team, because I've seen that working so well for us. And I really think Facebook Live, Story, ITG, I, uh, Story from IGTV. the Trenton, IGTV, and, and go for it. So Stefania, can you uh, elaborate on your assignment a little bit? So uh, Danian's is don't stop here. Yours is what exactly? So it's, uh, if you have a team, tell yes. 
people in your team, that the first one who will ever do whatever assignment that signs up the first five people or, you know, sells more product, whatever is the assignment you want them to do, I will interview you. Obviously, if you're a leader, so you, you edify the person and I'll put you on Facebook Live, I'll put you on Instagram, uh, I, IGTV, and uh, or if you instead still don't have a team, then ask your leaders to uh, you interview them, but create curiosity. People today are at home, at least in Italy, for example, there is a lockdown again. You know, it's crazy how many people are bored at home watching Netflix and they go on Instagram just because you're interviewing and talking. So I've seen that, Eric, we recruited like crazy because of that. We attracted so many people because people want to hear stories and you talk about the beauty of the profession and all that. Okay, so let me, let me see if I can refine it just slightly. Yes. Interview someone on your team for some sort of achievement, put it up on social, or if you don't have a team, have your upline interview you. Yeah, or even you interview your upline. You can share stories. Or you interview your upline. Yeah, yeah. So we share stories, how, why network marketing, why, who we are, why did we start, how skeptical I was, what was she doing? And then I chose people like, I chose lawyers, I chose moms, I chose single mom, I chose dad, I chose, I chose entrepreneur purposely to attract different people. And then because it goes live, people, and then I told the team to, I would make a flyer, promote it in the groups, on our Facebook group as well. And then I will tell the team to go and support and make likes and comments just to get the interaction going. And of course, people did it. And then some people, you know, saw comments and they recruited these people as long as we attracted people. And that helped a lot of new relationship and new contacts. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to Jefferson Santos. Jefferson, what's, what was your big takeaway from this, this uh, whole challenge? And, uh, and then when you're done kind of summarizing that, sharing that, what would be your assignment for everyone? You bet, Eric. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me again. Uh, first of all, I mean, several takeaways. Number one is we we have so many talented people in giving leaders in the network marketing industry that a lot of us didn't even know. And all of us trainers on this side that you allowed us to train uh, just really um, allowed me to be just like, wow, I can't wait to get back at it and keep going and apply the things that I learned. But Here's the thing, guys. I'm just, once again, I just feel real grateful and blessed just to be around so many great people training and you, Eric, and just, and by the way, th those of you that are watching right now, you're on the bonus day. You guys are the hard chargers. You guys are going to get more meat and potatoes today. So here's some takeaways. Um, you know, Simon Sinek has that book, Start With Why. He also have Leaders Eat Last. He also has another one called Infinite Game. Recruiting is an infinite game. It never stops. Business is an infinite game. Okay, so we got to think about, and I realized this, I'm like, recruiting's never over. You know, you might, you might slow down a little bit, you might speed up a little bit. Definitely these last seven days have caused all of us to speed up a little bit, but it's just getting started. You know, somebody uh, uh, had a question there in the Q&A and I said, you know, our work is just starting right now. Whether you're a top, top income earner or you're just getting started, the work is beginning today. Today is day one, every day is day one. And now we got to go and, and, and go do the thing. We got to go do the work. Now, here's the other thing is, what well, Eric, what you did is you exposed us to all, all this great training. You involved us and we upgraded, exposed and involved and upgrade. Like I talked about last week, uh, we, we got involved. We we're upgraded our belief system, belief in the network marketing industry. We believe in there's great people involved in the industry. We believe more in ourselves. Like, man, I didn't know if I can do this. You know what? I can do this. I know a lot of you, our belief is way up right now. And so we did the whole expose, involve and upgrade this past seven days. Uh, and also there's different strokes for different folks. We're going to, you're going to attract your tribe. That's for you. Don't worry about attracting everybody else. That was big. And as far as the assignment, number one, buy the lifetime access to these training to, to, to this challenge. I mean, what part of the last seven days do you want to miss? I don't want to miss any of it. Get the lifetime access. The other assignment, get your GoPro go pro ticket if you haven't, okay? But then the other thing is your, your three-step setup. You, what, what I shared last week was, and, and actually Pat talked about it and also Eric talked about it. And there's different ways to share our story, okay? And if you're about to show a presentation on a video, for most of us, a video or a live presentation, it's your situation, what's happening. Hey man, you know what? I don't see my kids. I'm working 80 hours a week. 
da 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 da. And it's just been tough. And I've been looking for something and I found it. That's the first step. Second step is the turn, right? The, the, the transition I'm all in, I found something I'm all in on it. I'm going to crush this thing, but I don't know if it's for you or not. And that's the third step. And if you can do that to five people today, that's your assignment today. Go just share your three-step setup with people, whether that's your prospecting angle to set up an appointment, or that's what you say before you show them the video. That's what I would do today. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, if you do want to get the uh, recordings, we get a lot of people asking about this. If you want to get the recordings, uh, you can go to this link. GoProRecruitingChallenge.com forward slash lifetime dot uh, dash access. And I think we're going to end up selling this um, longer term for probably $200, um, 197 we'll sell it for, to be able to have all of those thought leaders and trainers, myself, Marina, and all of those top um, recruiting trainers all in one. And we're going to provide it in um, video, audio, and notes uh, in that product. But now if you want to get it, <clears throat> it's 97 for now, but we're going to change that probably Monday um, to 197 for people who want to get it. So you might want to think about that, have it in, inside of your, your listening library. <clears throat> what I found with stuff like this for, um, for longer term retention, you know, what works best for me? audio because video i'll watch it once audio i'll listen to it a hundred times i just literally listen to it and listen to it and listen to it i'll listen to it again and again and again on the car working out doing whatever i'll listen to it a ton of times so turning this into audio you got to give us a little time to get it to you in audio but uh audio changed my life because i wasn't a reader when i first started off in network marketing if i read a couple pages i go to sleep um so jim Rohn introduced me to audio because his was the first time it was kind of interesting. And I listened to his audio tapes over and over and over. And Jim was the one that said, you need to be a reader. So I started reading and he gave me a couple books to, to get me started. I remember, you know, uh, Think and Grow Rich and, and The Richest Man in Babylon and all, all these different books that he would recommend uh, that I started to read. And then I became more of a student. But audio was what what probably helped me more than anything else, turning my car or my, when, when your hands are busy and your mind is free, like when you're driving, you're mowing the lawn, you are working out, whatever, um, you have something to listen to. If it's entertaining, I'll just keep listening and I'll just start over at the beginning and start over at the beginning. Every time I listen, I hear something different. And when you, I don't know if I know how many hours this whole recording is going to be, but it's like 20 hours, probably six. Yeah. I mean, 18, 16 to 18 hours worth of stuff. So we're going to get it organized and you know, buy speaker and kind of chapterize it. So it's not just one big glob, uh, but we'll get it to you uh, quickly. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, let me go to uh, Jordan Adler, my dear friend, Jordan. Um, Oh, we got, we got to unmute you, Jordan, or you got to unmute you. There we go. There we go. Hi, Eric. How you doing? You I'm know what's good, crazy? Good. There's people, the younger people that are getting involved in network marketing today don't know who Jim Rohn is. They've never yeah. heard his name. It's crazy. Yeah. People are asking yeah. about that. So um, first of all, the first thing, my first observation would be, you know, we live in a world today, uh, a social media world where everybody's connected. And, you know, Eric uh, and Marina have taken this to a whole new level. And so we live in a world of unlimited, unlimited contribution and resources that didn't exist uh, a few years ago. And a as a result of that, um, you hear from all these different speakers that have you know, recruited hundreds of people. And it's really easy to get overwhelmed because everybody has a different message. Um, and, and, that's, and I know like when I, even myself being around this business for many, many years, I take notes and I look at my notes and I go, where do I start? Because there's just so much stuff. So, um, and, and so 
the, the, the good part of it is that you have access to all of it. The hard part of it is that you have to sort through it and figure out what's gonna really be best for you. So an assignment I would give Eric would be, um, hold, set yourself a goal. Uh, and I would recommend a 30 day goal to start um, where every day you've got three things that you're gonna do. Um, I would say if you're part-time in the business, one give a day, one new exposure a day, and one follow-up a day. What so do you mean one, by one some, give? One give would be just giving somebody something that would be a value to them without expecting anything in return. It doesn't even have to be related to your business, but you're just giving a gift to someone else. Successful people give gifts. So do something for someone else um, that will help to elevate the relationship you have with them and also let them know that you're someone that cares. So one give a day, one follow up, a, one new exposure a day and one follow up a day. And if you want to go, if you want to have a healthy pace, do three a day. And if you want to be a fast, you know, a superstar rise to the top, I would say five a day. Um, and then the other thing, I just want to say one more thing is that, you know, one of the things I learned years ago was that you always want to be a front row person. You it, Concerts are better up front. Uh, training uh, events are better up front. Um, when you're in the VIP, it's a better experience. You just get a much different perspective being up close and personal. So uh, anytime you have an opportunity to upgrade, uh, even if you have to stretch a little, I recommend it. Um, so VIP is better. You make connections with people and make friends with people that you wouldn't normally make friends with. And that will take your life and your business to a whole new level. So that's, that's what I have. I love it. And let me talk about overwhelm just for a moment, because uh, I, I'm a slow digester of new information. I, I digest it slowly, but once I understand it, then I go into productivity. So this is a lot to digest, right? So what I would suggest you do, the best way to digest this is if you made a list of here's all the things that I have to do if I wanna become better, make a list of whatever it is, 20 things, right? And then pick what is one thing out of that list that you learned over the last seven days that is not too overwhelming and is doable to start and put a star next to that thing and begin to practice that thing until you get more and more comfortable. And I don't suggest, you know, pick the hardest thing on your list, right? The thing that scares you the most, just start. Progress is perfection. Just, you know, all I, the, my biggest outcome for this last seven days was to get you into more conversations. So anything that will create more conversations, more connection with other human beings, do that thing. Little thing, pick a little thing and do it today. You know, the one thing that I loved, I loved the uh, snow angel challenge because you watch people in grocery stores and drug stores and coffee shops and, you know, airports and all over the place, just flopping down on the ground in front of somebody and doing a snow angel and facing their fear. It was one little thing they could do, right? So What's another little thing you could do? Another, another challenge for some of these people was telling their story. And I was moved by so many of the stories inside of the challenge group. And thank you all that, that had the courage to tell your story. Thank you for doing that. So think of it in terms of another challenge. Pick one thing, one thing out of this list and start to add it to your toolbox. One thing. And, and use that in order to be able to build some confidence and build some momentum. You don't need to do 20 things. One is fine. One is fine. Um, but do the one. Do the one. Uh, okay, let's go uh, move on to uh, Sarah and Tony Zalecki. Hi, everybody. Hi. I love that. I love that, Eric. I mean, one of the things that I always did with your trainings is on the very back of my notebook, if I was taking notes, I would write action list and I would list all those things, right? And so I would look at one thing that I would implement and I would work until I got good. 
And then I would move to the next. And it really helped me because when I was brand new, like there's a lot of stuff that happened in this challenge that we all learned that we still didn't understand. But I still took notes because I was like, I know I don't understand this yet, but there's going to be a point in my business when I'm going to go back and read that. And that's going to hit me at that exact moment that I need that. Right. So um, so that's one thing that I've done for so many years is I have my action list on the back. Um, and that's just helped me for number one, stay organized, but also to um, not feel that overwhelmed. Right. Um, so I think my biggest takeaway that I learned from this challenge is that it's so incredible to see so many people actually really doing the do, you know, really taking the action, right? Because I love this business, but sometimes it can feel a little bit lonely, even though it's a people business, right? So because so many of us, we've been in this challenge, we feel like it's been this amazing community, it just kind of spurs us to just keep taking action, right? In everything that we do. And one of the things that I, I'll never forget, Eric, one of the, um, uh, statements that you had shared. And I don't remember if it was from a book or whatever, but you shared it a lot. You said, uh, chains of worry are forged in idle moments, right? So for a lot of us, we get so worried about, do I say the perfect invite? How do I do this? Do I do this exactly right? And the reality is if you are just busy doing the action, right? You're not going to have these doubts of what if they say no? What if I'm, you know, cause you're just busy out there sharing the story. And so my, my assignment would be become obsessed with activity, become obsessed with activity in this business. Right. And, you know, I, I, I feel like for me, if I'm, I feel like right now for a lot of us, it's like, we've all worked our business. And if we think about like the end of our month, right. The end of our month, we're always like trying to get that last sale, maybe to get the next rank or the next percentage or whatever, maybe in our business. I don't know about you guys. But I feel like every day since the challenge, it's been like the end of the month feeling for me. So what <laughs> if we actually worked every day like it was the last day of our month? What if we worked every day like it was the last day of our month? Oh my word, how much activity and business would we have? Well, we know the answer, right? It'd be a lot. So I wanna encourage you to focus on that and the feeling that we have now, oh my gosh, like. Let's focus on that piece of it because I just think that all of us could hit a home run. Yeah, Eric, and I'll say, I mean, the challenge has been so impactful in, in lots of different ways, but I think, you know, listening to all the recruiters and trainers and, and the guests you had on is like, you don't need the perfect invite. You don't need the perfect script. You don't need the perfect Facebook Live or what am I going to say perfectly in Messenger to get this person over the line and join my business? Like, you know, we're helping them. We're, we've got the gift. And, you know, so many people fall into avoidance behavior with recruiting is because they're in their head and they think like, they just don't know what they're going to say or what people are going to think of them. And, you know, everyone you heard this past week, it's kind of like, you know, their, their posture and their boldness and their confidence and their excitement is what it's all about. And, you know, you can say whatever, but if your posture is there, if your confidence is there, if you're short, sweet to the point, if you're in a hurry, if like they know you're going to do this with or without them, you know, and, and that's the whole thing too. It's like, you know, I want you in my business. It'd be great to partner with you, but I don't need you in my business. Like you don't say that, but that kind of posture, that's what attracts people. So we all have that in, um, I but just that, think- But that posture comes from doing though. Yeah. Like people always, well, how do I get the posture? Well, the reason that all these guys are great inviters and recruiters is because they, they talk to a lot of freaking people and a lot of people said no. So it's like the way that you get that posture is in the doing. Yeah, good is point. Is in the doing piece, right? Is that, acti it, again, it just goes back to the activity. Well, and, and I think the takeaway, yeah, that was good, babe. I think the takeaway for me was, you know, I recruited someone a couple nights ago and they were on my list. And for whatever reason, you know, you, the people just get away from you, you forget to call them or whatever. But I had this conversation with this person. And it's kind of like what I talked about, we've got the gift, right? We're doing them a favor. And that person was like, basically saying, Oh, my gosh, thank you for calling, Tony. I'm in. I'm so excited. So my challenge to you is this, you've got people on your list, whether you look up to them, they're equal to you, people that look up to you, and you haven't called them yet. Like you're avoiding calling them. Make that one call today and do the invite. Let them see the information. 
and get them in your business. Like do that invite today and stop running from it because you have that one person. And if we all did this, Eric, we could all put in one new person to our business today. Yeah, I, I love that. And thank you guys both very much. The one thing that I would tell you is be willing to be messy yeah. while you're learning. Be willing to be messy while you're figuring it out. Let go of perfection. You don't have to be perfect. And talking about the one thing with posture, I love being obsessed with activity and energy and posture, really big. I didn't have confidence or posture when I first started off in my network marketing business. So I borrowed other people's confidence and posture. Okay. So yes, it's true that you will learn from the doing you'll, you'll gain confidence and posture from the doing and the feedback and, and results and et cetera. But until you have the feedback and results, you can borrow somebody else's posture. Like for example, if I was talking to one of your prospects, instead of you talking to one of your prospects, what do you think their chances of being at least willing to take a look would be if I did it versus you doing it? Probably pretty high. They'd, be, they'd have a pretty high chance of taking a look, even if they don't know me, just because my confidence, my posture is going to be very, very, very strong. But it didn't start there. I was very insecure. I'll give you a perfect example. The thing that terrified me the most is we used to do these opportunity presentations live before Zoom, right? I, um, and we'd do them in, we had a little office in Minneapolis in, uh, in Minnesota in the United States. And we used to do these, you know, bring prospects and do a presentation. And the thing that terrified me the most being in my 20s was what, when I'd have like a 40 or 45 year old marketing or creative, uh, you know, business person who would start saying, oh, you know, this model, I'm really smart at marketing and advertising. I got this idea, that idea. You want to go faster, you know, you, you'd have to do this and do that. And I used to just kiss their butt because I didn't know what else to do. I was just like, oh, yeah, it's such a great idea, even though I knew it wasn't going to work. Oh yeah, we should talk to the company about that. Oh yeah, that's such an amazing idea. Yeah, we could set up franchises all over the country. It's gonna be awesome. And we'll have retail stores and kiosks in malls. It's gonna be amazing. Um, knowing that it wasn't gonna be amazing, wasting everybody's time. But I didn't know what to say to the big shots. So the number one earner in my company came to our little office one day and he did a presentation. Um, his name was Jeff Roberti. You know, he's a $100 million earner today. But back then he was making about $80,000 a month. And at the end of the presentation, I'll never forget, marketing guy, one of the prospects goes up to Jeff and I'm watching, right? And he says, yeah, Mr. Roberti, this, um, this is a cute little idea, but have you ever thought about this? And have you ever thought about that? And have you ever thought about this fancy strategy and that fancy thing? And because I work at Blankety Blank Company and you know, I got all this background and Jeff just said, hey, stop, hold it. Hold on. I'm making $80,000 a month doing it this way. Would $80,000 a month be enough for you? And the guy said, well, well, yeah. I said, well, he said, well, why don't you just hold all your brilliance and your wisdom and your incredible ideas until you're at least making $80,000 a month. And then you can bring all of your innovations. That, that sound fair? And the guy said, well, yeah, yeah, that sounds fair. He said, well, come on, let's go, let's go get you signed up. And the guy said, oh, okay. And they walked over and signed him up. And I'm like, oh my God, it was like a magic trick. This is so cool. Okay. Now, again, mind you, I'm broke at the time. I don't have any confidence. I'm just watching other people. But I borrowed his posture. So I couldn't wait till the next time Big Shot Marketing Guy came with some fancy ideas after a presentation. And sure enough, about a month later, something like that, six weeks later, guy comes up, you know, one of my prospects at the end of the presentation says, Eric, yeah, you know, you're a young kid, you know, you're in your 20s, but, you know, have you ever thought about kiosks and malls? And have you ever thought about hiring a big sales force to knock on doors and blah, 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 do all this fancy stuff? Because I work at Yak, Yakety Yak Company. And I said, I remember Jeff and I said, hold it, hold it, hold it. I said, listen, the people that I work with, my upline, people that are connected to me in this organization, they're making $80,000 a month doing it this way. Would $80,000 a month be enough for you? And the guy says, well, well, yeah. 
I said, well, why don't we hold you all your uh, great ideas and innovation and wisdom uh, until you're at least making as much as they're making. Does that sound fair? He says, well, yeah, that sounds fair. I said, well, come on, let's go, let's go get you signed up. He said, uh, okay. And I'm like, oh my God, that just worked. All I did was borrowed Jeff's confidence and I got to have his confidence. So think about all the people that you've heard from this week, whether it's Stormy, Tony and Sarah, Jordan, Jesse Lee, you name it. These rock stars, borrow their confidence, borrow mine next time you're talking to your prospect. Pretend that you're us for a minute and, and say the words that we say and act how we act. And guess what? You're going to get the results. That's what happened for me. So be willing to be messy, number one. Number two, do uh, uh, borrow people's borrow the confidence from other people, and number three, you're going to gain confidence from just being active. Okay, make sense? All right, fantastic. Um, let's go to uh, Armand's Murnix. Armand's the super promoter, the GoPro. Well, before you do that, Arm. Uh, uh, put Armand's back down for a second. I'll be right, right to, with you, Armand's. Um, I, I want to just tell you, all of you that are, I, I'm, I'm assuming virtually all of you are, uh, are going to be attending GoPro in three weeks. Three weeks, can you believe it? Three weeks. Um, but I want to just put up all the bonuses that happened over the course of this challenge. They go away Monday night. They're gone. But I just want you to see them. Can you put that up, all the bonuses? Hold on, we got a little slide here for you to look at. Take a photo of this. Take a screenshot of this. Be smart. Come in here in a second. It's coming, it's coming. Okay. All of these, take a picture, take a screenshot. These are all free for anyone who gets any virtual GoPro ticket. And these will all disappear Monday night. Monday, November 23rd, they're gone. But if you're, if, if you know, and I'm talking to the leaders now that some of them have Zoom rooms, into the event. If you can't fill up your Zoom rooms with $4,400 worth of free stuff for people who just get a single ticket to GoPro, I don't know what I can do to help you, but all of these courses are free and they all disappear Monday night on November 23rd at midnight, okay? $4,433 worth of free stuff um, virtualgopro.com to get the ticket. And, but here's the thing, just don't go by yourself. Make sure you're bringing people with you. Okay. You, that's that ammunition to be able to bring your team is over the top, over the top. I would take a picture of that. I would literally take that screenshot and I would text message every single person on the team and say, would you like to have all of these things for free? Would you like to have all of these courses for free? Just get a ticket to GoPro and go with me. I would literally text every single person on the team the screenshot of this page. Would you like to go to GoPro with me for free? Virtualgopro.com. And for those of you who have Zoom room links, give them your specific, Zoom rooms, give them your specific link. You're going to fill it up in like two seconds. And let them know these bonuses go away on Monday. Got it? So, I mean, it's pretty powerful stuff to be able to do that um, and offer all of that to your team. Imagine your team getting all of that stuff. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, back to Armand's. Armand's, come on back up, buddy. Hey, hey, so, uh, what was your big, hey, what was your big takeaway from the event and, and what, what advice do you have for people? Uh. First of all, thank you very much for having me here. And uh, I seen today a lot of people are commenting and saying, oh my God, this seven days was just crazy, amazing. And it's like a breakthrough in every single uh, person's life can happen. 
Um, I will tell you this. I was thinking today what actually I get from this personally, because I came here not as a trainer. I came here as a trainee. Okay, that is my first thing. And what I realized is, guys, I'm a top check in my company. And because I'm a top check in my company, I realized that I need to get out from this fish tank and I need to swim in ocean. And in order for me to swim in ocean, I need to get to you guys. I need to be here between you and I need to set up the new bar for my team members. This is what I did. And this is what I realized that this is the most important thing for you in order to be a leader. You need to raise that bar that high enough that they see that, oh my gosh, if this guy is doing, then I will definitely do it. And I'm, I said, so I'm a Latvian. Okay? I, I, like my English is my second language, which I learned in 2008, right? And uh, it's still not perfect. But if I'm able to do and achieve all these results in the network marketing, guys, then I'm guarantee you that all these people, 625 people, excluding me, so all of you can do better than me. This is my assignment and all of us, we are family. And I don't know, like who said that, I think Grant Cardone, or I think Grant Cardone said, he said, that network marketing is the easiest way where you can make a, you know, when you, where you can achieve the results. If, if you don't believe me, try the business, right? That's what he said. And I, I was a businessman before, and I'm telling you that it's really hard to make a business, keep business and maintain the business. In the network marketing community, you are welcome. Today, one guy called me and he said, Armand, I would like you to be my mentor. I know that you are seven figures earner, but it will be very good if you can just help me. I said, yes, okay. So he was blown away. He said, oh my gosh, I didn't expect that. So in the network marketing community, and thank you very much, Eric and Marine, for doing this for the entire network marketing community. My CEO, he told Armand, what we will do next year, it will be breakthrough. So here are my two assignments that I want to share with you guys especially those who are very new in this industry. So I was thinking, and uh, here's the thing. The, re the way how I made my first leaders was through self-development uh, courses. I was attending different courses. It was like a, all related to the self-development. Either it's in the finances or this is a personal development or this is in the internet marketing, uh, whatever uh, you can find, go there because that where the people, I, I mean, that's where the right people are, uh, are waiting for you. They already are developing this themselves and that means that they are going out from this nine to five job, from that routine, they are going and they are struggling, they are waiting when you will approach them and said, hey, listen, I have this amazing opportunity. Would you like to come with me? If I will show you, would you come? So that is a powerful. And this is the, my uh, assignment for you. In the internet, there is a, a lot of different courses. Please take a look on that. The second one, and probably you know what I will be talking about. In order for you to succeed in this business, guys, you need to make sure that at least, at least you have one person with you on a GoPro live. At least one person. If you just want to make a little, you know, extra money, like Eric said, two, three hundred dollars a month. If you want to make two, two, three hundred dollars a month, get one person. If you want to get thousand, then get two people. If you want to get to the ten thousand, get five people. And I, I will quickly, can I share one story, Eric? Sure. Very quickly. So that was in London. I was actually setting my um, uh, dream board and I want to be the first in London. So in order for me to be first in London, I, I didn't speak English at that time, so it was very terrible. Uh, <laughs> and in order for me to be first in London, I realized that I need to put butts on the seat. And my CEO was coming and all that I was doing, I said, hey, man, you need to be there. I can't explain you what will be all about, but you need to be there. I get more than 200 people there. And that's how I lift up my business. So if you want to lift up your business as fast as possible, trust me that there is nothing, <laughs> there's nothing that will be working better than putting butts on a seat.
when someone as a top check, top leader, CEO, whoever will be coming and having this uh, training to your people. This is all that I want to say. And I really appreciate for this amazing seven days. My wife is a little bit um, angry because uh, yesterday I went to sleep at 5 a.m. <laughs> In a Dubai, it's like a night, and uh, I didn't tell her that uh, it will last for eight, nine hours, right on the GoPro itself. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Well, go, go, uh, go, take care of Mama. Thank you, Armand. I'm looking forward to seeing you here in Vegas and seeing your huge team that's going to be joining uh, Virtual GoPro. Appreciate it. Um, let me answer for people who are are blowing up the chat and saying, "Where's Grant's bonus? Where's Grant's bonus?" Here's what I, I was really clear yesterday. First of all, Grant misspoke because he told me originally this is just for VIPs and Platinums, his bonus. And because he kind of left it gray while he while the, the other person was presenting, I called him up and said, can we offer it to people? He said, yes, but only for until midnight. So I told everybody, if you order by midnight last night that, and just get a regular GA ticket, you'll get Grant's course. But starting at midnight, it's going to be for VIPs and above only. So that's the deal when it comes to Grant. If you got but yesterday or before, and all of those bonuses, if you bought a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, you still get them all. Anybody who has a ticket is going to get those bonuses. So long as you get it before the end of the day on Monday, what, <clears throat> like the 23rd or whatever it is. Okay, we'll send them to you in December. You're not going to get them immediately, but here's these courses. And there's two others that we forgot to add onto this list. I'll add later. One is Rachel Pekarik's course from yesterday. And the second one is Jesse Lee's scripts, kind of those copy and paste scripts that uh, those are all going to be added on top of that. Okay, so that's on top. But if you ordered yesterday, you get Grant's course. That's uh, all good. And uh, Lexi, can you scroll up and, and, and blast that spammer? Yeah, uh, that one. Thank you. <clears throat> um, so understand, everybody's cool. You get all that, but it's till Monday. Um, if, you, if you bought a GA ticket prior to last night at midnight, you'll get Grant's course on top of it. Um, but starting now, it's VIPs and above only. Okay, got it? Um, all right, we need to go to Rachel Picaric because uh, she's got something else she's got to go to. So I want to make sure that she is heard. And uh, thank you, Rachel, for offering up your, your extra little bonus. Can you give everybody your big takeaway from this, um, this seven days and then an assignment for people? Yeah, I think one of the things that was, so I heard over and over from thousands of distributors on our team that were watching was the importance of telling your story. Um, mastering that ability to be able to share where you came from, what brought you here and the solution of your company and product and then where to go from. So I would, um, I really want to just give you guys a really quick tip. And it's something that um, I think when you watch these and you invest in trainings, you can see somebody that's a bit on a pedestal or like a soapbox or they're on stage or they have the checks or the car or the, the, the big, the big uh, recognition, right? And you see them and you assume or you forget that, that it was a journey to get there. Maybe you're on chapter one and they're chapter 20. And you haven't seen chapter two, three, four, five. You didn't see their backstory. And I've now been building online. I consider myself kind of like an internet network marketer for over 10 years. And in that time, I have amassed 350,000 followers. But guys, that wasn't overnight. You know, even in this industry, I'm a 14 year overnight success, but it's been over 10 years of creating consistent and valuable content online. It was recording and documenting Eric when nobody was watching. It was writing posts when no one was reading them. It was doing YouTube videos with two views. And I'm pretty sure one was my mom, like the token view, right? The token share. And hey, it was you, Rachel, have you, have you ever gone on uh, to somebody's Facebook live and you're the only one? Yeah. And, and you, like, you can't leave and put it and take their one to a zero. So you're like, you have to sit there until somebody else joins. 
like I'm stuck. <laughs> it's like Facebook Live, like purgatory or something. But no, like guys, you have to understand is when you start, and the, and I'm gonna give you guys this time here in a second, but you start recording, you start going live, you start documenting, you're right. Nobody's watching you. And this is a good thing. You know why? Because you're bad. So while you're bad, you don't have a massive audience yet. You don't have a huge following. And so by the time that you figure out and find your confidence and your posture and your brand and what I say, it's called finding your voice. By then you have now have started to amass hundreds or maybe thousands or tens of thousands of viewers and watchers and followers and friends. And the good news is, and you might say, well, wait a second. What about the few people, those one or two that do hop on and see me while I'm bad? Here's the great thing. They're going to watch you while you're bad and they're going to watch you get better. And they're going to watch that journey and they're going to be like, oh my God, I remember when you were so bad. I remember like people who saw my YouTube videos 10 years ago, they're like, I remember you back then. You ain't the same chick now. I'm like, no, I was terrified. I get on a Facebook live or before then it was, it was YouTube and whatever. I was terrified in front of the camera. I didn't have any confidence. Guys, it starts, you have to start where you're at. You gotta be bad before you're good and good before you're great. Don't idolize somebody with tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of followers. Eric told me he has done 5,000 videos. 5,000 videos. Now, where would your business be in five, 10 years from now if you did 5,000 pieces of content, of offering value, of, of digesting? I'm going to tell you guys how to do the content. So here, here's the assignment for today. You got to start. I need you guys to pick up your phone and it can be during this or right after. Make a little note. I need you to pull up Instagram and you're going to pull up the story. One you're going to do is you're going to flip the camera to this, to your face, right? And I want you just to record something. And it might be the first time you've ever done this. Hey guys, I'm testing this really cool feature. I got challenged to do a story. Just want to say hi, let me know if you see this or whatever. Like, just doesn't, doesn't matter what you say. It matters that you do it. It matters that you get into forward momentum. That's what inertia is. You take one step, you create forward momentum and guess what? An object in motion stays in motion. What if you start doing this every single day, talking to your people, adding value, inspiring them, motivating, entertaining them, educating them over time, over time, over time, over a long period of time, you will create influence. This is not an overnight success, but you got to start there. Here's the guarantee and I'll end with this. Five years from now, 10 years from now, God willing, we'll all be here in five or 10 years have passed us by. So are you going to be better? Are you going to reach more? Are you going to push yourself? Guys, you might as well start doing it. Start today. Do a story. That's my assignment. Back to you, Eric. I love it. Thank you very much, Rachel. Let me, um, <clears throat> I hope you're taking a little list like I am of these little uh, assignments and takeaways, but can I give you a secret? I didn't have time because I mean, we started having so many speakers and trainers that I didn't have time to share all the things that I wanted to share with you. I'm going to be sharing much, much more uh, at GoPro and I can't wait for that. But can I give you a secret to total breakthrough in your life? If I give it to you, will you write it down and will you do your best to remember it? Here it is. Be willing to put yourself in potentially embarrassing situations and handle it. That's the key to a breakthrough. Be willing to put yourself in potentially humiliate, humiliating situations and just roll with it. Just handle it. Just put a smile on your face, love in your heart. Don't treat yourself so seriously and be willing to look foolish. Be willing to look silly. Be willing for people to laugh at you. And when they do, you can laugh with them and laugh at yourself. Don't treat yourself so seriously. Let go of perfection. Be willing to put yourself in potentially embarrassing situations and just deal with it. Put a smile on your face and love in your heart and just deal with it. Okay. It doesn't, it won't crush you. It's going to be fine. 
Just have fun in the process, but that's the key. That's the key to a breakthrough. If you haven't had your breakthrough, that's the, the doorway to your breakthrough is to be willing to put yourself in potentially embarrassing situations and deal with it. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> I want to go to Ricky and Francoise. Ricky and Francoise, go. All right. Okay. Awesome. Well, hello, Eric. Thanks for having us back on today. And, uh, you know, I think for me, one of my biggest takeaways is just to see the participation in this event. This has actually been my first event plugging into you from the other side and to see how many people were hungry to go out there and change their situation and change their life. However, you know, when you were asking about the assignment, I just felt like, gosh, this whole week has been an assignment, right? And you had said that everyone has like this long laundry list of things and it's about taking one skill at a time. But at the same time, you have to step back, all of you out there are listening, and you have to do your homework. Your life will not change unless you put the work and effort in, right? And so that is important for you guys as we go out into the field. And I kind of call it like the battlefield, right? Because you have to put the actions in place daily to be prepared for the actions, right? You have to control your thoughts. You have to prepare yourself by doing the small rituals every day. And so my assignment for you guys today is to look at your daily rituals, what are you doing to make yourself go from good to great? Are you taking time to self-development, right? Because a lot of people talk about mindset. Are you really doing those things? Because if you're not, you're not going to be prepared. The minute someone says, boo, you're going to run. Okay, so make sure you're doing the self-development. Then have daily goals, have weekly goals, and put time aside to do that. You have this list if you are trying to do, say, Rachel was just talking about Instagram, Okay, so maybe you want to get better on Instagram. Put time aside in your day. Say, I'm going to take 20 minutes every day and get better on Instagram. Put it in your schedules. You cannot do big things if you, if you think little. So you have to start thinking bigger, right? And that's putting your daily rituals in place. So I would say get organized. Obviously, you could be sloppy with your technique because as you do things over and over again, you will get better. But you have to be an organized in the sense of putting it in your daily schedule, because if you don't, the day goes by, right? I know if I don't put things on a list, it doesn't get done. So put it on your list, get done and do your homework. Love it. Awesome. So I say my takeaway is uh, the amount of value that you just got for seven days for free. Um, the heart that I've watched and, and the main thing I was blown away with when I watched Eric sit behind stage and answer questions for like over an hour after he just gave you free training, free for seven days from multimillionaires in this profession and people that are top of their game as entrepreneurship. My dad always taught me, and so does the Bible, heart level. And that's what I seen with GoPro this week. And, and you know, when you get that much value for free, it can turn to, into significant things in your life. And I say this over and over, but I mean, it's not, we give a bunch of information, but success is not that hard. Uh, for me, you know, being a high school dropout, I just got around other millionaires. And this is what Eric's putting in front of you. And that's valuable because I got around these millionaires and now I'm a millionaire. I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, you might say, I don't know a millionaire. Well, you just listen to a bunch of them for seven days. <laughs> and that's what we did. I mean, I say this, I don't know if people listen, even in my organization, I'll ask people, have you read uh, GoPro right here? Have you read this book? And they're like, no, well, I've said it a million times. So like, how many times are you going to watch some? How many times are you going to write down something and never do it? I've watched every GoPro million dollar earner video. I watched it and I assessed and I got feedback and I applied. And it's the same thing with recruiting. Listen, a lot of information can be concrete around your feet. But here's what I'll tell you about recruiting. You don't just go try to recruit 100 and go, oh, I did it 100 times, I did it wrong. No, you recruit fast, you assess, you get the feedback, and then you apply. You're going to make mistakes. Understand that. And when you, and this is my assignment. Look, when a farmer buys a big old piece of land, he doesn't put a couple seeds in the ground. He doesn't put 10 seeds in the ground. He actually puts the whole land full of seed to what? To get a harvest. 
So that's the same thing about success. It's the same thing about recruiting. It's the same thing about network marketing. He puts the seed in the ground. He cultivates the land. He waters the land. And then he knows he's going to get a harvest. And that's what happens in recruiting. That's what happens in network marketing. But you have to plow the field. It's the law of sowing and reaping. you got to understand, look, the Bible says a diligent hand brings wealth. You have to move. You can get a lot of information and keep it all inside of you. You should be full of light right now. To sit in a dark room by yourself, you're not going to spread it. All you have to do is take this information, go out there and put it in use, and you're going to get feedback. They say it all the time. Recruiting doesn't train. No, training doesn't recruit. Recruiting trains. The reason why you've heard so much success here is because these people have done it over and over and over. So go out and recruit. But you have to be a GoPro. Like this is not an option. If you want to make millions in this profession, you got to go out and do the do, but you got to show up. I have showed up in mentorship and I've made millions from being around mentorship. This is free mentorship now. 300 bucks is practically free that you can go out and sit at the feet of millionaires and you will become a millionaire. And that's my action. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Whitney was able to join us, Whitney husband. Whitney, are you there? Are you with your chickens? Whitney. Hey, I was feeding the baby. Hey. I was feeding the baby. Uh, okay, okay, okay. How you doing? Let me get out sideways from everybody. <laughs> I was just the chickens. That's why I was late getting on. Sorry. You were with the chickens? But then I had to feed the baby. Oh, that's hilarious. Earlier, yeah, when it started, because I had to go to town today, and they were, everybody didn't have food, so I was having to feed. The, that's the, why I was late. The bougie, the bougie chicken coop. Show us the bougie chicken coop. I actually just got it completely finished. <laughs> I'll talk while I walk out here, okay? So, all right, all right. I was said this morning, um, but I want to share something that I have struggled with. Um, and I think a lot of people, especially in this profession, if you have, you know, if you're really driven and stuff, you're usually a pretty um, OCD perfectionist person. A lot of us are affected with that. And so I just want to share that the, the most important thing in all of this, especially after there's training and you're, you're seeing what others are doing and you're going to go learn from others and you're going to implement the things they do. And that's exactly what you should do. But I want to be... Um, so sincere and tell you that the best thing you can do is be the most authentic and real version of yourself. Um, after I did my training, I got so many messages from people that are like, we just love the way that you're just so authentic. And I am like, I, every day I want to show up to be who I am. And so I have learned from others and you know this, like I have implemented and been a sponge for years and learned so much from so many um, amazing people in this profession. And I've implemented the things they taught but I always stay true to myself and I never tried to be like anyone else. Um, and so, and I think we get, I see that, like, I think we get caught up in that, uh, especially on social media, like, well, they're doing it this way. So I need to do it just like them, but your friends, your family, your following, your, you know, they know if it's not genuine. So the best thing that you can do is just stay genuine. So this is me, no makeup, um, my yoga pants and my sweatshirt. And, um, this is the real and authentic version of me. So this is my bougie chicken coop. <laughs> and me. isn't it, isn't it cute? I guess, so I guess it's, it's not, cute. It's not completely finished. I have a friend who builds portable buildings and he built this specially handmade just for me. And um, this is the inside. This was just completely finished yesterday. So, and then this is where they sleep but not the and then chicken i have all these i know they're coming to say hi they're nosy but i have all these different pins of all these chickens and i'm just totally obsessed like it's just you know it's been amazing <laughs> through quarantine this was the absolute best thing i could have done i did it right before quarantine hit uh right after i found out i was pregnant i was still healing from the you know actually i still am healing from the leg yeah. and i just didn't have i didn't have my thing anymore you know, I'm, I'm an outside girl, I'm a farm girl, and I didn't, I can't ride anymore like I could. And, you know, now I have that and I have a high fence out here with all these crazy animals. 
my alpaca. I wish I could go catch her. I would show her to y'all, but you know, just stay, just stay true to you and stay genuine to who you are and what speaks to you. Don't try to be um, anyone else. And that is going to take you so far and it's going to have people more drawn to you and invested in you because i think that's why people join our business because they're so invested in who we are so I that's love my it. thank you advice. thank you whitney i appreciate it be authentic yes all right let's go to john haremza john what was your big takeaway and what's your assignment uh okay well um eric great to be here as always and uh you know i want to tell you guys a quick jeff for birdie story since you um brought him up uh, you know, I'd learned so much from him and just the incredible and simplicity that that man delivers his message with. Uh, but I witnessed him multiple times. I've repeated it thousands of times. It doesn't matter what the problem is. I mean, I don't understand the comp plan. You know, I need to know more about the products. You know, and whatever it was, his answer was the same. I had the same problem. I found if I went out and found five new people, the problem took care of itself. And I mean, I think it plays into what the whole focus of this seven day GoPro recruiting challenge is, guys. I mean, the only thing that's going to grow your business, my business, any one of our businesses, it's new people. I mean, it's and, and the best way to do that is not trying to, you know, tell your team to do it, but do it by example, getting out there and doing what you want your people to do. They learn a lot more by what you do than what you, you know, preach. Right. So being the example. Um, but I just, I love Jeff Roberti and, and every word that comes out of that guy's mouth uh, is wisdom. You know, for me, um, I have gotten so much value out of everything. I mean, you know, joining the Next Level Mastermind, uh, you know, something, you know, I didn't think I, you know, had the time for. And, you know, um, just, you know, I, and Ricky just mentioned, you know, talked about being around millionaires, right? Getting around people. Um, so just being involved in that next level mastermind has put me in an environment um, where I can learn from the best, you know, versus when you're at the top of the, of, of the game within your environment. Uh, yes, you pick things up and you learn and you hear things differently, but you know, that's been an incredible value to me. Um, uh, and everybody that I listen to every single speech, every talk, every training, I took something or I was reminded of something or something was reinforced um, and, and, but for me, the, the, the takeaway, um, you know, Dean, when Dean talked about, um, watch you, who you're, uh, watch your out, outside influences, watch your outside influences. And, uh, you know, it reminds me of a book, um, that I'd listened to called, um, it was, uh, what, what's the name of the book? It's, um, um, seven, uh, I can't remember the name. Of it. Anyway, it, it was it was about um, you know someone talking about influences. You know, uh, you know, do you ever worry about your you know who your kids hang around with? And yeah, yeah. I mean, if they hang around with the wrong wrong kids, you see it in their attitude, and you see it. You know, it comes out right. Um, and and so yeah, you you know, it matters who your kids hang around with. And then it was said, well, what age does that change? You know, is it twenty? You know, is it forty? And it's at every age. It doesn't matter. I mean, you know, and it went on to say, I mean, if you hang around liars, you'll find yourself lying. You hang around people that swear, you'll find yourself swearing. And so this whole thing about, you know, your outside influences, who you're hanging around with, um, it, it is, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And it was, it's, it's something I, I, I identified, but it was just so, it was like a slap in the face to me. Uh, you know, thinking about that. So that, that was a big takeaway. Um, yeah, I absolutely, I mean, I loved everyone, but I, I really, you know, identified with Trent too. I mean, his heart and, you know, I, and what I thought about listening to Trent is Jim Rowan, um, you know, and I can't imagine, I think it was uh, Jordan saying, you know, these young people don't know who he is. I mean, guys, if you don't know who Jim Rowan is, and Eric, I know you would testify to this as I do. I mean, you've got to study this man. I mean, his wisdom, his knowledge, but, but when Trent was talking, it, it made me think about one of Jim Rohn's quotes, you know, it's not what happens, it's what you do about what happens, right? What happens happens to us all. It's what we do about what happens. I mean, two people 
identical circumstances, different decisions, and you have a completely different outcome. And so, you know, looking at where you are in your life and knowing, you know, that the decisions you've made led you to exactly where you are and different decisions can lead you down a completely different path. I mean, it could be as simple as the decision to be a part of the seven day GoPro recruiting challenge or the decision to attend the GoPro. I mean, w- one little nugget can absolutely send you down a completely different path of life, right? When you get it and you embrace it. Uh, so, um, uh, you know, that was that was another, you know, I, I like I said, I, I don't want to leave anybody out, but one of the other things Dean said that I loved, he said, um, your next level of life is on the other side of what you fear the most. The next level of your life is on the other side of what you fear the most. I mean, I think that is profound. It's incredibly powerful. So my assignment, something I wanted to actually try to talk about yesterday, but I didn't have the time. It's something I do every day. It's something I live. Um, I call it a personal checkup. Okay. And that's my assignment is to do a personal checkup. And what I mean by that is you look at the fundamentals of what it is that we do on a daily basis. Those income generating core fundamentals is be honest with yourself, do a personal checkup and ask yourself, how am I doing? How am I doing? You know, um, we heard it mentioned, I talked about it yesterday. It was mentioned throughout the entire seven days, your story. I mean, just ask yourself, how am I doing with my story? Is my story compelling? Are people, are people paying attention? Can I improve it? On a scale of one to 10, where am I at on my story? You know, where am I at on my personal prospecting? You know, am I setting a good example? Am I doing follow-up on a timely basis? Am I doing the personal growth, you know, daily? I mean, so just, you know, am I doing it three ways? I could go on and on. Looking at these core fundamentals that we do, being honest with yourself and doing it repeatedly, constantly saying, how am I doing in these areas? What do I need to do better? What do I need to work on? And, and it tells a really good picture when I, well, maybe not a good picture, but it tells the picture, right? When you do the personal checkup, um, you can find the areas you need to improve in and maybe why you're struggling, right? Something as simple as your story. And then I guess, uh, so that's my assignment to do a personal checkup, look at the core fundamentals, be honest with yourself, scale of one to 10, rank yourself and see where you need to improve. Uh, and then the other um, lesson, I guess, would be just, you know, pay attention to every day because um, this is an everyday business. It's not a once a week business. It's not a one week a month business. It is an everyday business. It's every day, every day, every day, whatever that is for you, whether it's an hour a day or 10 hours a day, if you're not consistent every day, um, you know, you're going to be starting over. So that would be my uh, advice and takeaways. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, we have three more. So we're going to go about another uh, 12, 12, 14 minutes or so. You're, we're, you're going to hear from Ann Fisher next. Then you're going to hear from Tom Chenault. Then you're going to hear from Jesse Lee Ward. Um, and um, John mentioned something. And I'll just say this quickly. If, you're a, if, if you are a six-figure earner or above in network marketing right now, put a number six into the comments, into the chat. If you're a six figure earner or above, put a number six into the comments. If you're a seven figure earner, put a seven into the comments. Six for six figures, seven for seven figures. Okay. I'm seeing them in the, in the, uh, the rest are just catching up. Six plus six plus six plus. Um, we didn't really talk about it during the recruiting challenge because it w- wasn't really the format, but we have a, a mastermind group just for six and seven figure earners. And if you're a six, six figure earner plus, I think it's the best group in the world for you to be a part of. Probably average earnings in the group is around $750,000, $800,000 a year. We meet on Zoom once a week. We get together in person a um, couple times a year and everybody shares all the best ideas. So um, I got to think about, do we have a link for that? Um, if you go to VIP at networkmarketingpro.com, email VIP at networkmarketingpro.com 
And if you want to be a part of that group, um, just put mastermind into the subject line and somebody will get back to you. Uh, VIP at networkmarketingpro.com, okay? If you're a six-figure earner above, you're crazy if you're not part of that group. Uh, that group is spectacularly amazing. And uh, you should be a part of it if you're a six-figure earner because it'll help you go way, way up. I mean, it's helping the people who are involved. Most of the people that you heard train are part of that group. I mean, matter of fact, I don't know if there's any that are, that are not part of that group that, that trained this week. I think they're all part of the group. Um, so VIP at networkmarketingpro.com, email them. They'll get you more information. You can find out more about it. Uh, come check it out, okay? VIP at networkmarketingpro.com. Okay, uh, Ann Fisher, you're next. Hit it. Hey, Eric. Hey, everyone. Um, gosh, my brain is like full. <laughs> I'm on overload. Like I, I'm like you, I need to go stare at a wall for a day and just like do nothing. Um, but I can't because I got 9 million notes. I got to wade through. Um, I, I, okay. So biggest takeaways, I have to say Pete Vargas, I'm such a huge fan now. Um, I've, I've had the privilege of listening to him several times through that training, uh, mastermind group that Eric just talked about, by the way, I'm a member in there guys. And I cannot even tell you over the year and a half that I've been in that group now, the, how much I've grown, um, personally, and my business has benefited just because you're masterminding with the best of the best. And so that, I, I feel like that's one of the coolest things I had to say, definitely, you guys, you know, if you're a six or seven figure earner, you need to be in the group. Um, okay, so first of all, um, I loved Rachel. Rachel was like the sleeper hit for me. I didn't, I mean, she's kind of new to the mastermind group. So I haven't like heard from her. I don't really know her yet, but she was like the sleeper hit that just like, wow. Um, and I really thought a lot about her training and she was one of the very last speakers. So if you guys didn't hold on to the very last, you really missed out. There was some seriously amazing stuff that dropped in the last hour, hour and a half last night. Um, I loved Sylvester Stallone. Oh my gosh. Didn't expect it. I'm like, what is Rocky going to teach us guys? <laughs> I mean, he could beat us all up. We know that, but what is he going to teach us? But I just loved, I, I loved his, um, how real he was and, and just that undying motivation to do what sets your soul on fire. And so whether you're someone that um, is just getting started in the business, or maybe you've never really gotten past a certain level in your business, and you're like, how do these people do it? And you see all these different people get up there and you're like, oh my gosh, they're, you know, they're just all of this, but they started right where you're at. We all started where you're at. And so I want to talk to you today. I want to talk to the people that have just one or two people on their team and what you need to do to take it to the next level, to be like these people, because these are everyday people that didn't stop pursuing their dreams. And I think that's what spoke to me the most. And, you know, there's no success without failure. Pete told us that last night. And I really thought a lot about that because I, you know, these people that you see up here that are successful, that are training and coaching, they've just had more failures than you. They've heard more no's than you. And they didn't stop. We didn't let us, we didn't let it keep us from pursuing what we knew we wanted and, and a better life. And so ask yourself today, I think what everybody has to stop and do is really reflect on what do you want out of your business? We see the hype. We see the people doing these crazy, amazing things. Jesse Lee Ward's got me wanting to get all fit in my social media now. Um, and Rachel came along and was like the sleeper hit with just the daily action steps. But I had to stop and think, okay, where do I want my business to go at this point? Um, and you really have to be honest with yourself because, you know, be yourself. We heard, you know, I love what Whitney said about that too. Be yourself, be you. Be what you want your business to be. And, and not somebody else, you know, don't be Jesse Lee, she's taken. Don't be Stormy, she's taken. Um, don't be Whitney, she's taken, be you. Figure out who that is and what you really want because once you have that clear goal, then you know what you've got to do to go after it. And so, I mean, just so, so much social media, guys, it's our biggest thing going into 2020. Let's be real, nobody knows what 2021, coming out of 2020, going into 2021, none of us knows what that looks like yet. We're just hoping it's 
way better than 2020, right? Um, but social media will be your friend. I mean, it's just the wave of everything. It's our number one platform for finding, finding recruits. So for those of you that are sitting there with one or two recruits and you have 50 followers or 100 followers and you're like, it's not my thing, make it your thing, figure it out learn, teach yourself. There's videos, there's coaching. These, I mean, the packages, my gosh, that are available right now, don't miss out on them. There is no possible way that you could have taken in everything that was taught over the past seven days. You need the replay. You need the programs from all of these experts that trained you. This was a smidge of what they have available. You need all of it and you need to be able to listen to it. I'm the kind of person I'm like Eric, like I, I do not learn immediately. I am not Jesse Lee Ward who picks it up and then implements it the next day. It's like, okay, next. <laughs> I have to mull and think and plan and figure it out and go through it and go at my own pace with it. You need these programs to go back through and to listen. You're gonna have to listen to them two or three times. One of the best tips I've ever heard on processing a training and, and taking in what you've learned is listen to it just listen to it and take it in and then go back and listen to it a second time and take notes and then go back and listen to it a third time so that you can actually start applying it. It takes that much for the average person to process and implement, right? Um, some of you are whiz kids and that's awesome, but for the average person, that's what it takes. And so it's always great to just take it in, learn, catch it, go back and listen again, take your notes and then go back and listen again and start implementing it and just pick one or two takeaways. And so, you know, for those of you that didn't recruit anyone, I want you to put it in the comments below if you weren't, you have not recruited anyone yet, because I believe when you implement what you've learned, you're going to be a recruiting machine. So I want to see the people that say not yet. And I am just saying you can do it. Don't be defeated because you didn't recruit 30 people during this challenge. You now have what it takes to go out and implement what you learn so that you can. And I challenge you to find two people, you plus two. For those of you that don't have anybody on your team yet, you plus two, focus on just that. You know, little bites eats the whole pie, right? And the saying goes, how do you eat the elephant one bite at a time? So start where you're at, don't be overwhelmed. Don't compare your day one to somebody else's year six, right? This is your journey. You're just starting it today. And you now have some of the most incredible freaking tools that you will probably ever get in your network marketing career and it was free okay so now it's time to reinvest in your business go out and apply this and the whole reason we did this is so that we can grow so you know i always say if you can if you can consume a training and have at least three takeaways that you can actually go apply to your business that's a win okay so take the win apply the basics that were the biggest and the best go find your two people and then help them find their two people. And then you go find two more people. Simple duplication, showing up and being consistent. Those are the keys to a winning business in network marketing. You know, my day one was six years ago. I started with nothing. I started with no following. And six years later, that has changed because I just refused to give up. So don't quit. Keep going. You can do it. I am cheering you on. I see all of you. I see all of you and I know that you can do this and, and I know that the best is yet to come. 2021, we can make it a banner year. Um, and this training and, and what's coming in the GoPro Recruiting Mastery, you know, that's the big leagues compared to what this was <laughs> like. <laughs> that's drinking from the fire hose. Um, but be ready and be there because like this only happens once a year, got years, guys. So you can't miss out on that. And I'm Eric, that's it. I'm I'm done. Awesome. I, I Thank you, Ann. And uh, for everybody, I want to quickly, um, before I go, go to Tom and to Jesse Lee to kind of wrap up uh, bonus day number one, I want to quickly just recap all the different links, right? If you want to get the lifetime recordings, take a screenshot of this or take a photo. You or your team want to get the lifetime recordings before, before we turn that into a product, raise the price, which we're going to do. You can get all of that uh, video, audio, and notes goprorecruitingchallenge.com forward slash lifetime access. Um, if you've done that, or if you plan on doing that, put a number eight into the comments. If you've done that already, or you plan on doing that, put a number eight into the comments. Next, <clears throat> for all the bonuses that are available for people who get a $297 ticket to GoPro, here are the list of bonuses. Okay, 
We got, we added uh, uh, $4,530 worth. Take a picture of this, use it for your team. Take a screenshot, take a photo. These are all available until Monday, until the end of the day on Monday, November 23rd, and then they go away. But until then, all 13 of these bonuses, $4,530 is available to people who get a virtual GoPro ticket of any size before Monday. So if you got it in the past, you're still gonna get these bonuses. The bonuses are gonna be delivered in December. So be patient while we organize them and get them all ready for you. But if you already have your GoPro ticket or you're planning on getting your GoPro ticket, put a number seven into the comments. I wanna see that. How many people already are attending or planning on attending and getting theirs before Monday? Put a number seven into the comments. Number three, I got to tell you about VIP real quick. VIP, here's the bonuses for people who get a VIP ticket. If you can find that. That's an extra $1,000 for a VIP ticket. The, these bonuses are available for VIP and platinum ticket holders. The Pete Vargas winning digital stages course, 497. Grant Cardone's money and finance course, 2497. And the first annual GoPro speak off as a $2,500 experience, all of that over, um, when you add the bonuses from a GA ticket to this, it's over $10,000 worth of bonuses. Um, Alexi, do you have that photo of the screens that showed VIP and the other pictures? I wanna show you something. So take a look at this. This is kind of how the screens are gonna look. If you look at Platinums, they're going to look really big on the screen during the virtual GoPro. If you look at VIPs and Super VIPs, they're going to be a little bit smaller, but they're still going to be. And then you got the, the GA attendees above and below. So you're going to get some prime real estate if you are a VIP or above. The world's going to see you for sure. Super VIPs we haven't talked about, but those are people who have reserved their own private 300 person Zoom room and are filling it up with their teams. If you wanna learn more about that, email VIP at networkmarketingpro.com. They'll tell you about that, okay? So that's gonna be cool. Uh, uh, and then Platinum, Platinum, this is 5,000, on top of attending this event in Vegas, backstage, in our house, uh, the Platinum party, meet and hang out with all the speakers. There's a platinum only mastermind bonus that's available live in Vegas with some of the GoPro speakers in person. That's an extra $5,000 value for people who get platinum. So I think I've covered everything. Virtualgopro.com will take you to all of it. Virtualgopro.com will take you to all of it. Um, recordings are available to buy. They'll continue to be available to buy, but Starting probably Monday, Monday or Tuesday, the price is going up. So if you want to get the, the recordings, I would encourage you to get them now because it's $97. You can get them and own them for forever. Don't need that. Virtualgopro.com gets you to everything. Okay, <clears throat> I, think I, I think I covered everything. Oh, and also, if you are a six-figure earner and above, you need to check out, I'll tell you this, if you're a six-figure earner and above and you're not part of the Next Level Mastermind, I want to invite you to attend one of our Next Level Mastermind Zooms for free, just to check it out. If you go to VIP at networkmarketingpro.com and put mastermind into the subject line, they'll get back to you and they'll give you an invitation to uh, participate in one of those sessions so you can see what it's all about before you make a decision, okay? So I think that's it, all right. Tom Chenault, you're second to last. Hit it, brother. Thank you, Eric Worry, and those people with the VIP mastermind deal. I'm telling you, this lifetime access he's talking about, that VIP mastermind kind of yeah, thing yeah. is that way. And I go back yeah. to that all the time, trying to figure out how these ordinary people making extraordinary money are doing all the things that I don't know how to do. And I am telling you, the bang for the buck for that VIP mastermind is unbelievable. You don't have to, I mean, look at the clinic of, pro, of promotion that Eric and his cronies have put on for this crazy recruiting challenge and what we got for free. 
and then multiply that into what you're getting out of GoPro for 397 bucks. And what I'm doing now is challenging all my friends to upgrade. Upgrade one level above what, above what you believe you can afford because I want you to have so much skin in the game that you don't miss a minute of it because it's gonna be that crazy. And if you look at any common denominator of everybody that was on this challenge, it was people that had a reason bigger than their excuses that went for it. Whether it was Trent Shelton, whether it was Grant Cardone, whether it was Sylvester Stallone, every one of those people have a story. And I look at Rachel and I look at Brian and I look at all those people and it just blows my mind what they've been able to accomplish. And what I know is it doesn't matter what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside. I'm scared to death of people. He talked about using other people's stories. I do that with the people I'm with. That's why I contact map so many people and understand their story so I don't have to talk about me. I talk about them and I use their story as part of my story to talk to them about their life. And I am telling you, that's my tape, that's what I do. But I'm telling you, I've learned so much more from this. And you wanna talk about fear? I'm at Eric's billion dollar house in Las Vegas. All these beautiful dancers out there across the pond swimming and they're mermaids and they're doing all this crazy stuff. And I'm among all these cool people. And here I am, Tom Chenault, like 50 years older, 50 pounds heavier than every one of them. And Eric says, I dare you to go dance with those mermaids. And I said, oh my God. And I read this book called The Surrender Experiment. And I, that means you never say no. I never say no to anything. And as a result of that, I tiptoed across that crazy moat of his. And I'm standing out there with all those dancers. I looked like a cross between John Belushi and John Candy. And I danced with them for about 20 minutes. It felt like 20 years and everybody clapped. I'll never forget it. And I got out of there and they just patted me on the back like I'd won the hundred yard dash. And Tom, you know what's the truth? You dance what? with them for it. You know what the truth is? You dance with them for about 14 seconds. 20 minutes. Nope. 14. Yes. I have it on video. 20 minutes if it was a <laughs> <laughs> That's it was about 14 seconds. That was a Tom Tom tall tale, but it was a long time for me. So you guys, I am telling you, get registered for GoPro. It's a fun. It's a party. You get to meet all these incredible people. You got to go upgrade to the highest level you can't afford and go do it. And Eric, thank awesome. you for letting me be a part of your life, buddy. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jesse Lee, um, you kicked off one of the early challenges with the the hold up, do the selfie with three fans. For some people that are joined the challenge late, didn't see that. Oh, can you tell right. them? Can you can you tell them what to do? And you get to close out our bonus day, and then we're going to go backstage and answer some questions. Um, and and for those that are asking about uh, Grant Cardone being in the the GA ticket, I answered that earlier. Um, and people in the comments can answer that for you. So I don't have to go through the whole thing again. Uh, Jesse Lee, floor is yours. Hi guys, what's going on? So hello, hello, it's Jesse Lee. You can call me hashtag boss Lee. And this first, I mean, I was texting you the other day. Well, the whole group chat of the trainers and I was like, let's make this a lifelong free GoPro recruiting challenge because I do not want to leave. Um, it's been amazing. I know I've been backstage the whole time. I literally haven't left. I prioritized this, like Emily said, from day one, which was just clear your calendars. Um, and for somebody who is as busy as I am, uh, I prioritize it because I forget who just said it, but somebody maybe an hour ago said something along the lines of, uh, you know, you have to show up, you have to make sacrifices. You have to do the things that are not convenient. And it just makes you wonder sometimes what are the things we are not doing because it's not convenient. What are the things you know full well you could have been on here the whole time and responding to messages, but some of us didn't. And um, I just want us to kind of take that moment to reflect maybe on what we do in our lives that self-sabotages our business. John Haremza just said that this is a everyday business. This isn't, it, no matter if you're part-time or full-time, it's an everyday business. Uh, and so I wonder how many of us are really going to do that. And we're really going to touch our business every day. So I shifted a ton of meetings. I shifted a ton of stuff, 
the one day that I wasn't on here live, I literally got home as soon as I did. I watched the entire replay. If you did the same thing, drop yes in the comments. So I missed Fraser, who's literally like my best friend. So that's how you know for real. Like, I was. <laughs> all right. So anyway, the three tip, the three tip. If you didn't already do it, you can do it every once in a while, by the way. It's not like a one-time only social media post. And you as a person evolve. So I would say it's probably a good idea to do that post uh, once every six months. One of my favorite quotes or memes I saw on the internet one time, and I've reposted it a bunch of times, is if you haven't seen me in six months, let me introduce myself. And that is the beautiful thing about network marketing is that if you are plugging into something like this, if you are learning and leading and developing, you do change as a person. I remember the first time I met Jordan, I annoyed him probably. I don't know. I've evolved since then. It's fine, right? First time I met Eric, bright blue hair, shaved head. Good Lord. We all evolve as people. And I think that's really important that you understand that. So the three fingers, if you didn't already do it, here's your assignment. You literally are going to hold up three fingers right? Three fingers. And you're just going to ask people in a selfie of yourself. So take a selfie. Oop. You're just going to ask people when you think of me, what are three things that you think of? What are three things you think of? And the cool thing is, obviously you just spent seven days with us. You see that a lot of us are a little larger than life. We kind of have these brands. It's going to teach you what to build your brand around. It's going to teach you what people think about when they think about you. It's going to teach you how people on earth view you. And so it allows you to start making the posts. It also is such a strong interaction post that you're going to have people to follow up with. Um, and so I would say maybe in your phone right now today, this is what month is this? This is November. So maybe you set an alarm on May 1st to do it again, right? May 1st is six months from now. Well, May, whatever, 17th, 18th, 19th. I don't know what day it is. Okay. Set an alarm to do it again every six months, especially if you're trying to rejuvenate your business. It always gets a lot of interaction. Uh, but so I'll tell you my biggest takeaway, a couple of things. First of all, I loved it. I think it was meant to be a negative comment, but I look at everything in my life as a positive comment. <laughs> so somebody commented that their biggest takeaway was that millionaires are all really loud and scream. <laughs> and I don't know why it made me laugh so much, but it's like, do you understand that people are attracted to people who know where they're going? People are attracted to people who know where they're going. If you're kind of floating through life, it might be why you're not recruiting people because people aren't sure you know what you're doing. People aren't sure that you're confident. People aren't sure. And I don't know if this guy came through well enough when I was training, but I'm an introvert. It was like every trainer got on here and was like, I'm an introvert. Hi, my name is Tom, Ch Tom Chenault and I'm an introvert. Hi, my name is Jordan Adler and I'm an introvert. Hi, Rachel Pekarik, I'm an introvert. Hi, I'm Jefferson Santos and I too am an introvert. Hi, I'm John Haremza and I'm an introvert. Hi, I'm Eric Worre and I'm an introvert. Like you have to understand that Trent Shelton, who is literally my real life friend, we are so quiet together. It's awkward turtles. <laughs> like we are so weird. And I think you need to know that sometimes because you're sitting there and you're judging your personality. But when we are talking about our businesses, when we know what we know, we have no problem showing up and showing out. I like to compare it to religion. If you believe, let's say in Jesus, right? So I'm a believer. If you came to my house and you, I don't know, you liked Buddha, you believe in Buddha. Awesome. That's great. Perfect. If you were to knock on my door and you were to say, hi, I'm here to spread the news of Buddha. I don't know what the, <laughs> sorry, maybe a bad example. I'm not familiar with Buddha. All right, but if you were to come to my house and knock on my door and try to spread the good word of Buddha, I would be like, you know what? Like wrong house, wrong house actually. So let me tell you about Jesus Christ, my Lord and savior on the other hand though, right? Like I would be the one to say, hold up, wait a minute. I know what I know. And so I wonder how many of you, you let other people tell you about network marketing. You let other people, like this example with um, Jeffrey Be uh, Jeff Berry you just gave a little bit ago, Eric, cracked me up. I literally put in the chat, I said, it's almost like Kanye. I have a t-shirt, it says, 
Texans love Texas like Kanye loves Kanye. <laughs> it's like, I'm a Texan. <laughs> okay, but the example is what did Kanye do on the stage when he was so sure in his conviction about Beyonce? He got on stage and he said, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best albums of all time. Y'all, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. I appreciate your union job. I appreciate that you work in a as, a, as an assistant, whatever. I appreciate that you have a job in finance, but hold up, wait a minute, I'm gonna let you finish. Network marketing is the greatest profession of all time. And when you have that kind of conviction around what you're doing, you don't need, I mean, I gave you my scripts, but you don't need my scripts. When I was brand baby new and absolute imbecile in this profession, I still out recruited everybody. I still have a trophy from 2011 for being number one recruiter in my first company, first year ever. I had no idea what I was doing. My phone calls were terrible. This is how phone calls, I was making phone calls back then. I was just so excited that my passion and conviction in what I was doing made people go, oh my gosh, I don't know what she's doing, but she's going somewhere. So for those of you who are trying to, you know, I saw some comments about, I don't have, I don't yet have a recruit from this. This is not a, a get rich quick thing, right? This is a long-term relationship. We're not trying to have a one night stand in our business, are we? No, long-term relationships. So if you keep showing up with that passion, you show people where you are coming from and where you are going, you're going to have a big business, even if it doesn't happen today, even if it's messy action, even if you mess up the scripts, even if you mess up the Facebook lives, the Instagram posts, the TikToks are a disaster. Awesome. Awesome. That's the whole point of this. We are a messy action bunch. You look at this group of misfits, which like, I'm literally looking at this panel of my friends. We are so funny together. We are so funny together. I cannot wait for the day that you all are part of our mastermind and you get to join us in Vegas too, because we are so weird. <laughs> like we're just strange. We just, is that me? That is, oh my gosh, that's Rob Dyrdek's wife. Why is Rob Dyrdek's wife calling me right now? Doesn't she know what I'm doing right now? Okay, we're a bunch of weirdos. We get together. We put up Christmas trees too early. You know, some of us have long, crazy nails, big, crazy hair. Some of us wear, I think Tom's wearing flannel. I don't know what's going on over there. I love it. Jordan wears sunglasses inside at all hours of the day. I don't know why, but I really live for it. Like Eric Worre's shoe collection is great. I love it. Uh, you know, we deal each other products from our, our there you go. I love shoes. Y'all know I love shoes. Look, I got two new pairs of red bottom shoes yesterday. I just, I just, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. Like, we're strange. We're totally strange. But that's what makes you you. And so Stormy talked about authenticity. A couple of really big takeaways that I want to make sure you heard. The first thing is, I don't care. She didn't say it like this, but I'm going to say it like this. I don't care if you don't like the top earners in your company. I don't care. That's who you need to learn from. They're doing something right. You don't like their personality. You don't like, um, I don't know what you don't like about them, their hair, the car they drive. You think, oh, they're too good for me. No, 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 no. Look, she told you to learn from people who are actually doing it. And I see so many people, Eric just hit on it earlier today, where it's like, oh, you know, I got this great idea. Let me try this random thing. Some of you are copying the wrong cat, first of all. Second of all, some of you are taking constructive criticism from people who have never constructed anything. Can you explain that to me? <laughs> like, uh, I wouldn't take marriage advice from somebody who's been divorced six times, yet here some of you are, a bunch of multimillionaires are like, do this, do this, do this. And you're like, well, my friend who has made $4.30 in their entire career told me I shouldn't use TikTok. And you're listening to them. In less than a month, I've made over $300,000 on TikTok. What are we doing here, people? What are we doing here? Get on and do messy action. The other thing I loved, which maybe you don't know, but this is like my biggest takeaway. And I want to say this because I think sometimes we need to humanize what's going on in this profession. Because I do think that sometimes you look at the people who are top earners and you go, oh my gosh, but they're just so good. 
They're so good. They have their whole lives together. First of all, there is not a single multi-million dollar earner on this call from the last week who has their whole lives together. Not one of us. The amount of continually still stumbling through our businesses going, I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna try. Well, I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna, I don't know how to do that. We get on these mastermind calls and sometimes we have billionaires there. Sometimes we have people who are insanely good at investing on there. And you should see some of these conversations where we're like, I mean, the people you're looking up to are on this call. We're all privately messaging, messaging each other with like, you know, the little red private thing. We're like, what the hell? Oh my God, I'm so far behind. What are you investing in? Ah! We look like that Jim Carrey meme where we're like, help. We don't know everything either. So you need to know that. But my big, big takeaway, which might shock you, was actually Pete yesterday. And I don't know if y'all watched yesterday. If you watched yesterday, you can put a yes in the chat. But Pete talked about imposter syndrome. And again, I just want to bring this full circle for every single one of you, because some of you are still paralyzed right now. You've done nothing. Oh, you have the notes. I know you do. Some of you literally had to go to Target and get a new notebook. (laughs) You ran out of paper. Okay. I love that. But I'm here to tell you, you cannot be your biggest enemy. And that's what a lot of us are doing. We are self-sabotagers. We have millions and millions and millions of dollars sitting in notebooks that are collecting dust. Don't be that person because somewhere inside of you, you think that you are not good enough or that you don't know enough or that you can't achieve enough. I love the whole imposter syndrome thing because to this day, I suffer with imposter syndrome. If you want to know why it took me until this morning at 8 a.m. Central to send over my scripts to Sandy and Eric and Marina, it was because I, for the last six days or however, whatever I trained, I don't know what it was. It's all a big blur. Eric's like, oh, we're going to get Jesse Lee's scripts. I'm like, oh my God, no, no. Like, yes, but no, like me little network marketing assassin, me. I was like, why, why my scripts? So I procrastinated and procrastinated and procrastinated and did this whole, oh, and then last night, cause I still hadn't typed them up. I'm literally dreaming about scripts. Like, oh my gosh, terrible. I gave myself bad sleep because I still suffer with that. And if I think all of these multi-million dollar earners are honest with themselves, there's not really a day that goes by we don't have the imposter syndrome in something we do. Why would anybody watch my live? Why would anybody want to listen to my podcast? My podcast is insane, yet I almost didn't do it because I kept thinking no one's going to listen. Then I'm like, Eric, will you be on my podcast? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Duh. What? Trent Shelton, like, yeah, of course. What? Rob Deerdick, yeah, duh, of course. What? I do it every day just like so many of you do. And maybe it's not a big scale like that, but we all deal with self-confidence issues. We all worry about what other people are thinking about us. We all do, we all do. And so don't try to please everybody, just make yourself proud. And when you're thinking about what you can implement from these last seven days, just implement something that will make you proud. You don't. You know, I love that Eric cut me off in my DMO because some of you were going to have your brains actually explode off your head. Like it was actually kind of dangerous. I'm glad you cut me off because it doesn't matter what I'm doing. And it doesn't matter what Anne's doing. And it doesn't matter what Tom's doing. It doesn't matter what Jefferson or Jordan or Armand's is doing. It matters what you will do. And you will grow into a confident leader if you do show up every day. You have so many to-dos right now Have you, how many Instagram stories you have done yet today? Check yourself. Have you gotten fit yet today at all? Right? Have you, have you reached out to people at all today? People are saying do three presentations a day. Have you done one presentation yet today? The amount of do this, do this, do this actionable stuff that was given to you all week long. How many of us are in our, that sounded really good. My snaps are on today. What is that? Wow. Like what is the stuff? that we can actually do in our business. And can you step into that power? 
Because every last one of us, when we started, we sucked. Please believe me, okay? I was a bad leader. I yelled at people all the time. Like not excited yell. Like I was like, oh, I needed to learn some patience, okay? I was a bad leader. I was bad at sales. I was bad at recruiting, but I was hungry like Les Brown said, right? And then I kind of kept sucking really a lot, like really quickly, you know, we got suck faster so you can get through the suck phase. And then I got bad. Every last one of us was bad for quite some time, right? We were bad. And then we kind of got okay. And then we sort of got good. And then we got great. And now you're looking at the people that are world class in this profession, but you have to know it wasn't an accident. You have to know it's not an accident. So go make the attraction posts, go take the action steps. And when you feel, when you feel, which you will, when you feel the imposter syndrome, the why me, why do I deserve this? I grew up in poverty. I'm not, remember that you're supposed to break generational curses. You're supposed to. And I don't know if it was this training, but it must have been because this is the only place I've been for the last seven days. <laughs> but I it must have been this training. But some of you, I can tell whose past really sucked. Like these people here that you admire, a lot of pain, a lot of trauma, a lot of real bad stories. I think there's a reason Eric always tells us he almost didn't escape high school. There's trauma there. He didn't fit in. He wasn't normal. Okay. So if you already know what the pain feels like, then why do we live there? If you're in hell, don't crawl. Don't skippity doo run through it. I can tell who it hurts. So go, 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 get out of it. You're in the best profession in the world for normal people to no longer live an average normal life. And you just had seven days of tactics. Take something, spin through your notebook, end on a page and point like this and do that. You have everything you need to make millions of dollars in this profession. That man, Eric Worry, is the reason I am on this call. And I don't mean because he asked me to be on this training. I'm telling you, I got basically dragged kicking and screaming four and a half years ago four years ago, I guess, to a GoPro event. And somebody told me, <clears throat> oh, there's someone in this room at the time who's made $95 million. I said, shut up. What am I doing with my life? And if that's you and you're like perplexed that all these different backgrounds, we had Mexico with Yvonne, we had, you know, Stormy, who's like, I'm, I'm, for some of you, I'm too black. We had everything on here. So like, what is our excuse gonna be anymore? because we are showing you the way. Eric showed me four years ago that I was playing very small and he reminds me of it every day. I get out on the mastermind, somebody shared the other day, oh, well, Eric goes, well, there's somebody made $3 million last month. Somebody made 2.7 million. I said, oh, you're not doing enough. What am I doing? And I went to a whole other level of psycho, like in a good way. What are you doing? What is your, oh my God moment? I think for some of you, it was in the chat. Let's do it again. If you're a six figure earner, put a six in the chat. If you're a seven figure earner, put a seven in the chat. There's even people on here who have made eight figures. Multiple people have made eight figures in this profession. You see all these sixes, these sevens, it's real. It's real. I think some of you are looking at that. You're like, that person who's been chatting with me all week makes six figures a year. Are you kidding me? Right, right. So why not you? And if you can get to six figures, you can get to seven. It just takes implementing all this stuff and teaching and training it to other people and getting the butts in the seats for GoPro. Because you can get to six on your own. Eric taught me that a long time ago. You can bully your way to six figures. That hunger can get any of you to six figures that are hungry enough. The seven he always trains mean you have to get to seven by training other people how to get to six. And maybe you don't even really know how you got to six. Okay, then. Can you get that, please? Okay, then. Then you need to get people to go pro.
You need to get butts in the seats. You need to show people a better way. And you need to start using those third-party resources. You need to start using those stories. You need to start using the conviction that is inside of you to take it to the next level. Because like I said about Jesus, when you know what you know, you know what you know. Y'all know about this profession now. So go out there and show the world what you know. Go show the world how great we are. This is the best profession on earth. Go show them. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> we're not going to be able to go backstage today because I got a heart out in just a few minutes uh, for the next level mastermind Zoom mm-hmm. that we're going to jump on with all the six to seven figure earners. But, but there's a scammer. Can you get him? Just scroll up that one. Yeah. These people, man, they just don't stop. It's unbelievable. Um, wrong group, kids. Uh, Pete Vargas, you still there? I'm going to let you have the last word. Wow. Well, let me turn and, on. And, and, and before, before you start, I'll just tell everybody, if you don't have a ticket to GoPro, go to Virtual GoPro. If you don't have the recordings, find somewhere in the comments where the, the link is. We put it in there a bunch of times. Um, anything you're looking for, if you want to get into the mastermind, VIP at networkmarketingpro.com. That'll take care of all that. Um, tomorrow, I'm going, to do, I'm going to give you the summary of the whole challenge, and then we're going to go backstage for about an hour and um, we'll, we'll do some more Q&A, okay? But uh, Pete, you, you get the last word. Wow, okay, I wasn't, wasn't ready for that, but man, how do you follow Jesse Lee? Gosh, I feel <laughs> like I gotta get all hyped and jacked, but I'm gonna make this pretty dang simple. Eric started this with saying, this is a one-two punch. And, and, and what I, you know, I love what Je- Jesse Lee said because it's kind of like, for so long, I was stuck in my business at a million dollars so long. And all of us want to actually say those words. I'm a six figure earner. I'm a seven figure earner. And at some point we actually really in our minds think that's kind of the cap or the ceiling to what we can do. And I just found myself saying, I want to hit seven figures. And really that's all I ever thought was possible. And Eric, I just think that a lot of people, the opportunity that this profession gives to people. I mean, you heard Grant Cardone say it, drop me in a city and I'm in a network marketing company. Listen, here's what I want you to know. I didn't share this yesterday. I got a text from Grant. He was 40 minutes away from me in that show. He was dropped in Pueblo. I did an interview with him. I did an interview with him. He was bald. I, I, kind of knew what's going on. I didn't really know what was going on. And then he's like, Pete, I got to take this. And he answers the call during the middle of my interview. And he says, Hey, Hey, Bob, this is whatever his name was this like code name. I'm like, why did he just refer to himself as, you know, John, John, you know, whatever. And then a couple months later, I get a text from him. I want you to see this. This is so important. If you miss what Grant said yesterday, and he says, Hey, I want you to come up for the grand opening. And I can't get into the details of what that meant, (laughs) but he asked me to bring my son up and what he had to build wasn't just going and making money. He had to build a business with a lot of employees and a lot of stuff to go create a million dollar business in three months. And so when he says yesterday, you're telling me I got the company I got the product, I got the brand, I got the comp plan, I got this, like my life just got easier. Drop me in any city and I can do that. Eric, I got to see what he built and I was blown away. But I also know that what he built was so difficult and that's why he said what he said yesterday. And so guys, a lot of you have the ceiling on your mindset. And I said this on on the first day I spoke, Eric, Why did I find myself staying stuck for like seven years at the million dollar mark in my business? It's because it's the ceiling I put on myself. It's the ceiling I put on myself. I won't ever put that ceiling on myself. All of a sudden I started creeping into the, oh, I'm gonna get to eight figures one day. And I stopped that. And I stopped even saying that. I stopped saying that. And now, I can literally say multiple eight figure business and I'm on my, I'm on, I'm on the way. Like I've got a target of nine. 
And that sounds so far-fetched and so unrealistic for the Pete Vargas who walked five years ago. Because like Jesse Lee said, I lived in imposter syndrome. I was my greatest enemy. The way I talked to myself would have convicted me as a murderer. I would have spent life in prison without parole the way that I spoke to myself. I hope you guys hear that, man. I don't care if you're four, five, six, seven. There's another level. There is another level, another level. And our biggest enemy is ourself. We are the biggest enemy. The way we speak to ourselves is the biggest enemy. So when Eric says one, two, punch, the challenge has been punch one. But here's what I'm excited about. And Eric, you know, I worked really, really hard to get some of these speaker bonuses, as did you. We worked hard. I can't believe some of them gave what they gave, but I want people to see the practicality to this because they need to understand the simplicity to this. The first punch is done. Now it's time for the TKO. And that's what GoPro is. Because what's going to happen with GoPro is clear. Here's why most businesses and here's why most network marketers and all of your leaders backstage, I want you to hear this. Here's why most network marketers don't ever go to the levels that they want to is because they only focus on one component of the business. When I got serious about business, I started focusing on all components. I was a pretty shitty leader five years ago. I'm an incredible leader to my people today. Oh, Leadership is being talked about at GoPro. I was pretty dang good at sales, but I sucked at social media. Oh, social media is going to be a whole focus topic at GoPro. I didn't know how to duplicate myself. You might be like, are you in network marketing? No, net duplication is in, in any business. It rained when Pete rained and it didn't rain when Pete didn't rain. Some of you understand what that means. I had to understand what it was like to have duplication without Pete. And so do a lot of you. And that comes with systems. That comes with operations. Some of the stuff that's not sexy. That's why we didn't talk about it the last seven days. But it's one of the things that allows you to go to the next level. A whole section dedicated to that at GoPro. And then I just went blank. But there's a fourth section. Oh, <laughs> the, sec the section I'm going to be speaking on, I forgot, which is presenting. And you think this is presenting for recruits? Could I let you understand the way that you want to enroll recruits? You got to enroll your upline. You got to roll in your downline. You got to enroll your team. You got to enroll all the time with presentations. And presentations is something you do every day. And everybody in your team does every day, a whole section dedicated to that. So yes, it's cool that recruiting has been tackled, but you really want to grow. Don't be a one trick pony. Do not be a one trick pony. And here's what I want to say is Eric said, Pete, and I'm like, I get it. I get it. He's like, we got to add personal growth and mindset and breakthrough as well. And so I'm just going to let you know how Eric kicks off GoPro and the closing session to GoPro will be one of the most transformational things that you see because we got to get in the mind because the mind is the prohibitor of the new level that you want to go to. So Eric, why I'm excited is because punch two is the holistic approach, not just a one trick pony. Now recruiting is important and we all know that. And there will be some recruiting elements there too. But Eric, in those five buckets, they're not going to walk away with a bunch of notes, although they'll have a lot of notes. They'll walk away with a game plan for 2021, a crystal clear game plan. And then you can come back to this library of speaker bonuses because when you have your game plan, only consume the content that's in alignment with your game plan. Too many of you have a game plan and you're out here like trying to learn something else. Let's get the game plan ready at GoPro, then give you this lifetime digital library. And now you're going to know what to use. You know why Eric's saying it's going to be a month till you get these speaker bonuses? Because we got to have the game plan first. 
because when you got the game plan, then this digital library of these amazing resources, you say, I'm going to start there because I got the game plan. So guys, it's no brainer, man. You want to, don't be a one trick pony. There's a one, two punch to this. Everybody said the next 90 days is huge. And I really think it is. And Eric, I, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say, man. That's it. Thank you, Pete. I appreciate it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I got to start the next level mastermind. Um, Zoom in two minutes. So tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time, I'm going to personally go through an overview of this entire challenge. And then we're going to go backstage with all the backstage people and we're going to do some uh, comprehensive Q&A. So this, this uh, broadcast from today will be available for the next 24 hours and then it'll go away like the rest of them. So um, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.